What's up, YouTube? Heavy study today. Witchcraft in the church. I, I don't take pleasure in this. I'm very uncomfortable talking about this stuff, showing you this stuff. Holy Ghost put some of these things on my mind this morning before I woke up. With scriptures. It ought not be, brethren. It, the house of God should be the best, safest place on the earth. That we all come together as brethren to seek the Lord, the, His Spirit, and to do whatsoever He says. We all have different jobs. We, we all, but we're level playing field. We're all equal, brethren. All of us are equal. This is heavy, Jesus. I'm just going to trust the Holy Ghost to get me through what He wants me to tell you in this video. Matthew 23. Verse 5, but all their works they do for to be seen of men. They make broad their phylacteries. Interesting, uh, blue letter Bible phylacteries. Interesting. Take notes. A fortified place provided with a garrison. A station for a guard or garrison. A preservative or safeguard, an amulet. And then it gets into the shim. I'm not going in there right now. But the thing that stood out to me right now was when men put men kind of like what the uh, mob would do something like that to protect the uh, kingpin or whoever they, whatever they call their, <laughs> their leader. Okay, let me continue with this. Enough said. But all the works they do for it to be seen of men. Notice Jesus never hid himself from anybody. He was always amongst the troops, the brethren. He was never, you know. But all the works they do for it to be seen of men, they make broad their phylacteries. Well, he had to carry his towel. You know, he had to wash feet. So he couldn't be up in the high castle all the time hiding. <laughs> they make broad their phylacteries. And enlarge the borders of their garments. And love the uppermost rooms at feasts. Take note. This is all Jesus Christ's words here. And the chief seats in the synagogues. And greetings in the marketplace. And to be called of men. Rabbi. Rabbi. Be ye not. Be ye. But be ye not. But to be not ye called rabbi. I'm going to stop there for a moment. I'm going to put into your memory what Paul said in Ephesians 4, 11. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers. Going back to Matthew 23. How do you want me to say this, Lord? But... Be not ye called rabbi. Now, most of us know that means teacher. Okay? The direction Paul gave us in Ephesians 4.11, I just read it. Those are jobs we do. Apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, teachers. But don't seek to be called master, rabbi, teacher. Pastor, yeah, I know this is a big shock. It's a big shock to me, too. Apostle, prophet, don't seek these stupid titles, brethren. These are jobs we're called to do. Now I'm going to continue. But... And greetings in the marketplace, and to be called of men, Rabbi, Rabbi, Teacher, Master, Lord, Prophet, Pastor. But be not ye called Rabbi, Teacher. And it's funny to me in Ephesians 4.11, they group apostles separate, prophets separate, evangelists separate. But when it gets to the fivefold pastors and teachers, it's it's a conglomerate, and some pastors and teachers. 
The thing is, don't seek to be called this. You could be a pastor. That's wonderful. Do your pastor job. Great. But don't seek to be called these titles, brother. These are jobs of the fivefold. And an elder that's possibly not in the fivefold, he's commanded by God in 1 Peter 5, 1 and 2 to, make, to, to see to it. And if these jobs are not done, the elders are to take the oversight and oust. If you're if you're not going to repent and do your job and be biblically accurate, there's there's a lot of stuff to this. Okay, just take it with a grain of salt. It's going to take a long time. There's a lot on this subject. I'm not comfortable teaching, but God has put it on me to teach. So that's exactly what I'm going to do, brethren. But be ye not called rabbi, for one is your master, even Christ. And ye and all ye are brethren. What's he saying? Enough of the stupid titles. Do what he called you to do. You're all brethren. You're equal in God's eyes. There's only one big kahuna, as my first pastor would say. And it ain't you. It's Christ Jesus the Lord. But be not ye called rabbi. But be not ye called teacher. But be not ye called pastor. But be not ye called evangelist. But be not ye called prophet. But be not ye called apostle. Yeah, we know you're an apostle. We know you're a pastor. We know. We know you prophets. Wonderful. But don't seek to be called. Just do your job. There's so much in the Bible about this, and it's never taught. I, I'd never heard this in the UPC one time. But be not ye called rabbi, for one is your master, even Christ. Guess what, boys? You ain't Christ. And ye, and all ye are brethren. We're all brethren. We're all brethren. And call no man your father upon the earth. For the Catholic believers, I, I'm assuming. <laughs> For one is your Father. That's Jesus Christ. Isaiah 9. Which is in heaven. Neither be ye called masters. For one is your Master. Even Christ. Attitude. Attitude in the fivefold. Take it to God in repentance or He's probably going to remove you. But he that is greatest among you Oh, but he that is greatest among you. What's, what do you think that means? Verse 11, what's the next words? But he that is greatest among you shall be your servant. And again, I want to put in your memory from the Holy Ghost, Mark 10, Matthew 20, Luke 22. The Gentiles rule as lords over God's heritage. Makes it First Peter 5 in there. But it shall not be so among you, brethren. For you all are brethren. Do you understand? Do your job. If you're a pastor, do your job. A sign of... I thought this Bible study was going to be on witchcraft. I, I might have mentioned it. I don't know. But one of the signs of witchcraft is controlling, dominating, manipulating. Okay? And God said you all are brethren. It ain't to be in His church. It's not going to be that way. It has been that way. Something tells me the whole body needs to repent from the top to the bottom. And I don't know if it fits in this Bible study. I've got more. I can only fit so much in one Bible study. Philippians 3, 2, beware of dogs. Beware of evil workers. Beware of the concision. Matthew 10, 17, Jesus said, but beware of men. For they will deliver you up to the councils. And they will scourge you in their synagogues. They will backbite with their tongues to destroy you. Job 34, 22. There is no darkness nor shadow of death where the workers of iniquity may hide themselves. God's going to expose it. Psalm 5, 5. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. This is for the David's 
that are attacked by Saul's killers. Psalm 37, 1, Psalm of David. Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. Now, I think this is the last point in the video. Um, the organizations. Something told me, what was it you showed me, Lord? He's been telling me a couple days in a row. I'll forget stuff and he'll bring it to my members. Bring it to my members. And the thing was, the organ, the church government is governed is is in the scriptures. Now, when you get outside of the scriptures, and there's probably not wrong with some of it, because we got to have missionaries. And that's great. But when when uh, organization takes the place of and all the bylaws takes the place of what God ordained from the scriptures. There's a problem. There's a big problem. Holy Ghost has a problem with it. Big problem. I got a problem with it. And the thing is, that causes, that will cause error. Because the body can't operate how the body was functioned, designed by Christ. Because you've got organization. And I'm, I'm for organization. But I'm not for overstepping bounds if you understand like the federal government they'll overstep bounds for their evil purposes over state government but the thing is it's not to be I'm talking about the church folks the church is governed from the elders forward up and everybody has jobs you might be called to be a pastor that's great do your job you're supposed to uh, uh, help the wounded at times, uh, preach the word. Teach. What else? Shepherd. Yeah, do it, do it, do it. And the fivefold is to help, facilitate. Paul laid out, I'm sure everybody knows these scriptures, Ephesians 4, 4, 9. Now, now that he ascended, what is it but that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth? He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens that he might fill all things. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body. That's our job. If you're in the fivefold ministry, that is your job. You're not to Lord. I, and I have to give you First Peter 5 right here. 1 Peter 5, elders, the elders which are among you I exhort, who am also an elder. Notice Peter not calling himself a pastor, an apostle. He's one of the chiefs, prophet. Maybe he does in other places, but here I haven't found it. And that's great. I know Paul says, Paul an apostle of Jesus Christ. That's wonderful. Great. But for what Christ said in Matthew 23, that's what this is about. The elders which are among you, I exhort. Because, you know, when you start putting all these titles on yourself, you're setting yourself up for fall. What's the word that comes to me? Novice, it says in the Bible. Lift it up with pride, novice. How many times have I seen that young pastors, young preachers? Novice. Then they fall into adultery and divorce their wives. And now they're gone. I told them we needed to have prayer all the time. But listen. Wouldn't listen to the elder. Ten years older his elder and he wouldn't listen to me. The elders which are among you I exhort who am also an elder. And a witness of the sufferings of Christ. And also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Feed the flock of God, elder, which is among you, elder. Taking the oversight, elder. Thereof, not by constraint, elder, but willingly, elder, not for filthy lucre, elder, money, elder, but of a ready mind, elder, neither as being lords over God's heritage, elder, pastor, apostle, prophet, whatever, whoever, but being examples to the flock. And we are all brethren. Do you understand? 
stop lording over God's heritage. And when you gotta, I wanna, see I'm trying to be nice. Did I, see I almost said dingbat. When you got a dingbat quenching the Holy Ghost all the freaking time in the assembly, and nobody says nothing, and I'm the only one that says it, and I get sick of going to the church because of all the stupid stuff. But yet I got to bring the message. There, this church, all you, all you, whatever, you, PC, whoever, y'all need repentance. Y'all need to get in the scriptures. And, and look at what Christ commanded and demanded because he, you're going to give an account on Judgment Day, leaders. If you forbear, you're going to give an account. And this Bible study is long enough. It's over for now. If God gives me more, I will certainly bring it forward in the days to come, in weeks probably. I don't know. If you're not born again biblically, if you don't know what I'm talking about, Acts 2.38 is the first biblical pattern of the Great Commission. You must be born again. John 3.5, Jesus commanded it. Acts 2.38 is the pattern. Go do it. Love you. God bless you.